Hi, this is Peter with Physical Therapy TV. Uh, in today's short video, we are going to discuss knee pain and specifically uh, things that you can do uh, to address your knee pain. Now, when it comes uh, to knee pain, the very first thing that I want to mention to you is that you must get an accurate diagnosis. Uh, simply without an accurate diagnosis, it's not going to be possible to really address the, uh, the true cause for your knee pain uh, because there could be a multitude of factors involved. Now, after you get an accurate diagnosis and it's made, uh, whether it be a tendon issue, a muscle issue, or uh, maybe meniscus or cartilage, uh, the correct plan of treatment can be, can be prescribed for you. Now, knee pain can be caused by trauma, it can be caused by wear and tear over time, uh, it can be caused by muscle imbalance uh, or overuse leading to conditions that range from uh, tendonitis to a torn tendon, joint wear such as arthritis or a meniscus tear, or just a, a biomechanical issue which we see uh, in most patients uh, is the case, such as alignment issues where your kneecap is being irritated to either weak, uh, either due to weak hip uh, muscles, uh, tight calf muscles, uh, or a combination of that. Uh, now here is an image of a knee uh, displaying the muscle tendons and the ligaments and the symptoms area associated with it uh, where pain can present uh, of the knee that's being affected. Now if we look at the pain right above the kneecap, this can be caused by patellar tracking issues. Uh, bursitis uh, the quadri or the quadriceps tendon being ruptured or irritated. If you have pain on the inside of the knee, uh, it could indicate a collateral ligament uh, issue or a possible meniscus tear uh, with combined irritation and swelling and inflammation. Typically pain behind your knee um, could indicate uh, conditions such as osgood slatters disease uh, or um, arthritis with swelling. Uh, patellar tendonitis typically uh, presents in the f uh, below the kneecap uh, and um, usually is, is irritated when you climb steps or you run um, and you extend your knee. Now typically uh, patients respond very well with strength and flex flexibility exercises if it is a minor issue. Uh, typical, typical neglected muscles to strengthen when it comes to knee pain are your glutes and your hamstring muscles. And um, a good exercise to address uh, those muscles would be an exercise called good mornings. Uh, feel free to Google that phrase to see a live example of how to do this because I know that there are some limitations by just looking at an image such as this. Uh, but just to run you through it, you start in an upright position. You do not need to do it with a barbell or anything on your back. And the key here is to keep your knee slightly bent, uh, your back straight while maintaining your spine angle. And you just simply bend uh, at the hips and just lean forward as far as you comfortably can, feeling a good stretch in your hamstring and glute muscles. It's very important, though, that you keep uh, your kneecaps over your feet and that they do not glide out in front of your toes because this will place too much tension on your patellar tendon and the knee joint itself. Uh, the second uh, exercise that could be uh, really helpful is to just address a tight ITB or iliotibial band. Uh, when this area or muscle uh, uh, or fascia area becomes very tight, um, it can cause some alignment issues and excessive strain on your kneecap leading to um, knee pain. Uh, the, the iliotibial band extends from your hip all the way down to your knee and uh, you, you can google how to do foam roll exercises but uh, just if you can find a firm pillow roll it up or find a, uh, a foam roll and then just work your leg up and down side to side over that it's typically very tender and, and almost borderline painful so you want to go slow but over time if you can do this on a daily basis it will mold that tissue and improve the flexibility lessening the strain on your knee. Last exercise is a hip flexor stretch or a runner stretch. Uh, you can do this uh, in a lunge position such as this or just a standing running runner stretch where you lean against a wall, extend your one leg back, have the front leg bent and then you should just feel a nice good stretch in the front of your hip. Um, those are just some some basic exercises that you can do for knee, ca uh, for knee pain. Um, 
We do have some more information over at thepainfreeknee.com. Feel free to check it out or just visit us at our main website, physicaltherapytv.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, it helps uh, us on our end, and I do appreciate uh, you watching this.